Nigel, recently introduced into your range is the new 1100HD vertical machining centre. Yep. What's different with this to the predecessor um, model? Well, it's got bigger travels in X and Y, 100mm in X and 50mm in Y, so we've got 610 Y. Um, 10,000 RPM spindle standard, uh, 38 EC, and whereas the other one was 24 but most importantly is the construction of the machine. Uh, we've got a solid base that runs the whole length of the machine that you'll see um, later today. And um, so we can put 1500 kilos on this table, whereas our old 1100 millimeter machine or our thousand millimeter machine as it was, could only have 800 millimeters on the table. So the way it's built means you can put more weight on the table, yeah. which means you can, you can probably machine uh, in a heavier machining environment as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a bigger horsepower spindle, um, so you can have a gearbox on the, on the head if you want. Um, the, but it's a, it's a really sound, solid machine, and anything you could do on our old 1020, you'll be able to do a lot more on this. Now, the 1020 uh, HD machine was a, po it's a pop was a popular machine, wasn't it? The, yeah. this, this will probably be even more popular as a result of some of the features you're talking about, especially with the, that bigger y-axis mm -hmm. too. Yeah, I think it'll be more popular. Um, it's, there's not a lot of people got a, um, as much table capacity. Um, this, it's a nice travel in X and Y. Um, the, the, we've got the, uh, the, the uh, new touchscreen Siemens 828 control on there. We've made it aesthetically more pleasing. We've got rounded curved guards at the top. Um, I know that doesn't make much difference, but it does look slightly better. And we've got a double swarf auger standard on this machine. I, I saw that. I was interested in that. So you've got a swarf auger at the front and one at the back as well. Yeah. So it, is that saying that previously you couldn't get the swarf out quick enough, or is it just a, a, you know, something you wanted to add to this to, to give people the opportunity to get it out faster? We just wanted to give people the opportunity to get it out faster. With a bigger, a bigger horsepower, we might be removing more metal, so we just wanted the ability to get rid of the swarf. And plus, on this design, it's a bit, more, a bit harder to get to the back of the table. You, you say about the uh, ATC on this as well. Is this now standard with this 30 tool? So you've stepped up from a, a 24. Was, yeah. was that for demand yeah. as well? Yes, um, we've just we'll go, went to 30, but only on this model. The, um, the 800 has got a 24 station uh, tool change on. And with this spindle here, so it's a 10,000 RPM. You've got, you've got quite a bit of power in that as well, though. Yeah, I think it's 23 horsepower. Okay. And through spindle coolant, flood wash, does all that come with the HD range or are they um, options? No, they're all options. Um, they, the augers are standard, but you can have um, through spindle coolant and, um, and a 15,000 RPM spindle and a 12,000, I believe. Now, with the success in the last 12 months of your LR range, this uh, is likely to be a success too. You kind of really changing the face of vertical machining centres I hear you at XYZ? <laughs> well what happened is for years and years people were producing the linear rail machines I was always told as an apprentice that you don't use linear rails that it's better to have box ways but that's not necessarily true on a lot of materials cutting tools that people are cutting genuine, generally lighter and faster but there are still a lot of people who like to move metal and um, intermittent cutting different tough materials the HD range can be the beast for you. It must be nice to be able to have both solutions in your kind of toolbox now. You, yeah. you, whoever comes here, one of these will be perfect for them, either the HD or the LR. Well, the HD with the boxways is a heavier machine for better cutting, intermittent cutting, tough materials. The LR has been a great, a great um, range for us. We sold a lot of machines over the last 12 months. We thought that out of every 10 um, LR machines we sold, we'd take away possibly three HD. But it really hasn't been the case. People have come along and, um, and seen the machine, and we've probably lost an odd machine. But I would say that the gain has been far, far greater than the loss. Uh, fair to say, good move. Oh, wow. We should have done it years ago.